process of removing this mesh covering over my Georgia colored greens. The Georgia colored greens is part of the brassica family and it has a tendency to attract the white butterflies which lays their eggs on the crops and your collard greens will get buggy and there'll be holes in the in the collard greens as you can see I don't have that problem because I choose to keep a mesh covering so the um, collard greens are ready for harvesting so I already have As you can see, I just completed harvesting the Georgia collard greens. I got two large bowls of collard greens for dinner tonight. I started these collard greens from seed early this season. And it is the beginning of August and I'm able to get a really good harvest out of this crop. So now in a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mesh covering back on the rest of the greens if you want to come closer you can see where I have removed all of the bottom leaves from the stock and left the, the top leaves and even with this stock here I've removed all of the bottom leaves and now all of the top leaves are going to grow and eventually these uh, collard greens are going to look like collard trees because the stalks are going to keep growing and the leaves are going to continue to produce at the top and the same way with this stock and on and on and on all of the stalks I, um, I'll probably come back in later and clean up a little bit and get some of the smaller bottom leaves but I just want to kind of give you an idea of what that looks like when you are harvesting from the bottom up and you leave the top leaves and then you allow the collard stems to grow like a tr little tree and these top leaves will continue producing and so you have it Georgia collard greens growing in zone 5b started from a seed it gets direct sun and I keep a cloth covering over my Georgia colored greens keep in mind this is a they, they're in the brassica crop family and the, the brassica crop family will also be your lettuce cabbage Brussels sprouts which is attracted to a lot of the pesty insects that lay their worms on your crops and then uh, unfortunately they become very wormy and the good thing about this mesh covering is it does provide a little shading for my greens so when it gets super 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 hot although they do love heat the intense sunlight that we have here in zone 5b where our where our sunlight's a lot more intense because we're 5200 feet above sea level it keeps them from getting stressed out. So there you have it. A fresh batch of Georgia collard greens, freshly harvest. And I will continue letting the green stalks grow so that I can get a, hopefully another harvest by fall. To grow your own food in your own backyard. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I want to share with you why I grow carrots in containers. Now there are many ways you can grow carrots, but unfortunately I have a tendency to get these deformed carrots because if you don't remove all of the rocks and sticks and debris in your soil, the root of the carrot, which is the carrot, is going to kind of grow around it or split and become deformed. So I find it a little better to grow my carrots in containers. So let's see what my harvest looks like for my carrots. The best way to determine if your carrots are ready is usually the carrot is usually protruding from the soil 
but if not you want to get something like this so you can see the top of the carrot so now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it and these are finger carrots so here's my first harvest and then my other second harvest is this one here and this is also a finger carrot so the finger carrots are usually about finger length and they're much much sweeter so they're a lot shorter they're finger length and they're much sweeter and as you can see there's no deformity just a little bit of deformity here because maybe I had a little rock uh, somewhere in the soil but as you can see that's that they're they're um, that's a good carrot now we're gonna also do these as well so here's the next one finger carrot and this one is a carrot red coral chanteray and I sowed the seed in April of 22 I sowed it indoors in my grow light so here's another one that's ready to be harvest and I love getting the small finger carrots because they're much much sweeter and they're easier to grow in containers because you don't need to have a tall container to, to, to um, grow them. So this one's a little deformed, but I still got a good harvest here. And the other problem uh, with growing carrots is you have to make sure you're, you're um, thinning them out because if you don't thin the carrots out, then you're going to end up with something like this. So here's another one. That's a nice one. So some, you see where you get this little split? Sometimes this is the result of perhaps there was some, an obstruction in the soil to cause it to do that. But it's still a good harvest here. And then we have these right here. And I'm not sure if this is ready or not. See, now this is the result of not thinning out your carrot seeds, your carrots. So usually when they cluster like this, I didn't thin them out well enough. If I had thinned them out, then I could have got a bigger a harvest on this. But here's another finger carrot. So, there we go. So, I've harvested my carrots that I was growing in containers. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay them across like this. And again, these are your finger carrots that I grow in a container. And this is the carrot red corn ch uh, chanteray. And I was able to grow them in a pot as small as this and a container this size. And I was able to produce a good harvest. I have a couple of more containers that I have carrots in and I'll harvest those later but I just wanted to share with you why I like to grow my finger carrots you can see they're all about the size of a finger in containers because it makes it a lot easier if you're out, if you don't have the room to grow carrots keep in mind you can grow them in containers if you select the finger carrots you don't have to worry about trying to get a big pot to um, uh, uh, compensate for your tall carrots you have your finger sized carrots and they're much sweeter so I wanted to bring you along and talk to you about why I grow finger carrots in containers <music>